Good morning. As Indigenous and non-Indigenous people gathering together, let us have a sense of the importance of the country upon which the celebration is being held. Where learning and ceremony have taken place over many thousands of years, let us sense the land beneath our feet and acknowledge to whom it belongs. The Gimawai, Wallabara, Yadinji and the Yiraganji people. Let us pay our respect to their elders and all elders past, present and future. For we too are one in land, one in spirit, one in faith, united in God's love. Reverend Brothers, Mr. Brennan, members of staff, men of saints, a very warm welcome to a slightly different graduation liturgy this morning. We especially welcome this morning the families of our graduates and their wider families who will be viewing this on live stream. You are very, very welcome. But an especial welcome this morning for our Year 12 senior class of 2020. Could we stand for the opening hymn? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the companionship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, as we gather humbly in the presence of our Creator, let us bring to mind all that keeps us apart from our God 
and from each other. And let us pray. God, our loving creator, open our eyes to see your hand at work in the splendor of creation and the beauty of human life. Touched by you, all creation is holy. Help us to cherish the giftedness in each other and in our world and to experience the joy of knowing you there. We make this prayer in the name of our the Lord of life, who with you and the Holy Spirit live and reign, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. My son, for the length of your days, be mindful of God and avoid every temptation to live apart from him or to go against his law. Keep on doing good and do not walk the paths of wrongdoing. Give to the hungry some of your bread and to the naked some of your clothing. Do not be mean in your giving. Seek counsel from every wise person and do not take that advice lightly. At all times, bless the Lord God, asking him to make your path straight and to bring your endeavors and plans to their end. Do not be discouraged by poverty. You will be a rich man if you fear God. Avoid sin and do what is right before the Lord your God. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. So stand your ground, with truth buckled around your waist, and integrity for a breastplate. Your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench the, all the flaming arrows of evil, and to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always, asking for what you need, and praying in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one after lighting a lamp a lamp puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. And the Gospel of the Lord. Now there is a powerful image contained in the Old Testament of the Bible in the book of Ecclesiasticus. It describes a man who is standing in front of two metal containers. One container holds water while the other one has a fire burning in it. God speaks to the man and invites him to put his hand into whichever container he chooses and leave it there. We don't need to be Einstein to understand that the free choice which that man makes will have consequences. If he chooses to put his hand in the water, then the consequences will be painless and probably deeply satisfying. If he chooses to put his hand in the fire, then he will suffer serious injuries and be incapacitated for a long time. The object of this image in the book of Ecclesiasticus is to have the wisdom to recognize that all of us have free choice in the way that we live our lives. The text in full says in chapter 15 of Ecclesiasticus, God made us in the beginning and then left us free to make our own decisions. God has set fire and water before us and invited us to put out our hand to whichever we prefer. We have life and we have death placed before us and whatever we prefer, that will be given to us. The book of Ecclesiasticus then goes on and warns us that we must not blame others for the consequences of the choices that we make. If we have chosen life, then the consequences of that choice are ours to enjoy. If we have chosen to put our hand in the fire instead of the water, then the consequences of that are on our own heads. As we approach the end of 
what has been a, a difficult year all over the world, we all recognise that some freedom of choice has been taken away from us. The freedom to travel, to associate with family and friends, to worship publicly, to come to school and to go to work. All of these restrictions on the freedoms that we have always taken for granted have hurt. We are simply not used to it. Hopefully though, the result of this is that we will value the freedom of choice that we have in the future in our lives and that we will use that freedom to the betterment of ourselves, the people we associate with, and the country and the world in which each of us lives. And we come now in humility, confidence and gratitude before the source of all that is good. Let us open our hearts to the Lord. For the people of God and those who are called to lead and serve them, we ask your strength and guidance. May their lives, like Mary, magnify your greatness. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the opportunity of being a member of the Morris family of St. Augustine's College and the inspiration you have given us in St. Marcelin, the brothers, teachers and staff, we are thankful for the men we have been able to become during our time here. We pray to the Lord. Lord for our parents, who have loved us into life, nurtured, cared for, and taught us, we ask your special blessing. May we never be found ungrateful for the gift of their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for St. Augustine's College. May it continue to be a place of learning and a place with good news of Jesus at its heart. May its members remain truly marist, always alert for your movement in their lives, and ready to respond to your word in faith and confidence. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. God, who graced Mary with all that she needed to find your love and peace, hear these prayers of our hearts that we may always know the joy of life in you. And we ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Our God is an awesome God, he reigns From heaven above with wisdom, power and love Our God is an awesome God Yeah. 
bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all love bless you in every way and grant you peace all the days of your life. May God free you from all anxiety and strengthen your hearts in love. May God bless all those who have loved you and have helped, to grow, you, helped you to grow to this moment. May God enrich you with his gifts of faith, hope and love so that what you do in this life will bring you happiness now and forever. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. We now come to a somewhat unusual part of the liturgy, uh, part of this U2020. And it's my very great pleasure this morning to present uh, to the college our special award winners for this year. Normally, of course, this would take place at awards night. And awards night this year will be awards day. And of course, the senior students will have finished their time at the college. So I'll ask Mr Brennan, uh, ably assisted by Flynn Keir, to present these following awards. As these are special awards, we will uh, have individual applause for each prize winner. The Director of Sports Award for Contribution to Sport in 2020, Connor Munro. <laughs> Our 2020 Sportsman of the Year is Brady McIntyre. The Czech Kursovani Award for Excellence in Technology and Design goes to Maxim Kotzer. <laughs> Our Musician of the Year for 2020, George Tafalos. for contribution to the arts, Sebastian Crooks. The Old Boys Prize for Good Conduct, Joseph Hunter. The Lou Picconi Memorial Award for General Proficiency, Reuben Porter. <laughs> the Lionel Williamson Award for Initiative and Service goes to Lachlan Jensen. The Bishop's Prize for Christian Leadership goes to Daniel Jerram. <laughs> Orator of the Year and the Matthew Morrow Memorial Award for Outstanding Effort, Jack Miller.
and the Champagne Award, uh, awarded by the Morris Brothers annually, goes to Connor Munro. Thanks to Mr Brennan and to Flynn for performing that deed for us. Let's please stand for our concluding It is now time for the symbolic handing over ceremony where the key symbols of our college are presented from the class of 2020 to the class of 2021. So we conclude our liturgy with the handing over of these symbols and we begin with a candle. Our college candle burns in our college liturgies as a sign of God who is ever present to us guiding us, protecting us, loving us. The College Liturgy Captain of 2020 presents our College Candle to the College Liturgy Captain of 2021. tradition of our college is that our, at, at our commencement mass, the names of the entire college community are listed and placed in this heart. This tradition traces itself back to the beginning of Mara schools and is a sign of our unity and family spirit. The service captain of 2020 hands over the heart to the service captain of 2021. As Marist, the Mary icon reminds us that we are the Marian face of the church. Marston wanted to make Jesus known and loved by all. As Marist, we tried to do all things to Jesus through Mary and all to Mary for Jesus. Today we have Reuben presenting the icon of Mary to the college vice captain of 2021, obviously with Jack Miller's injury.
Our final icon is the Marcelin icon. We are Marist, and this icon of Marcelin reminds us that future Saints boys not only stand on the shoulders of this year's graduating class, but that they pass on the tradition formed here at St Augustine's. The college captain of 2020 hands the icon of St Marcelin to our incoming college captain for 2021.